Imagine a world in black and white. But when the romance is over, you may soon start missing color and its vibrancy. The same principles apply to design and architecture where color creates mood, drives us and motivates us. What's your color? How does it fit into your space? That's what Lux Interiors is about today. Choose the right color for your home with advice from the experts. Colorful products that will tempt you to buy them. And the mix and clash home or the single color room. Learn how to make it work. If you like using more than one color in a single space, don't be surprised if we ask you to stick to your style. The key lies in knowing how to use multiple colors in one area. And designer Puneet Jasuja's house may just prove to be the inspiration you're looking for. That he has been a globe trotter and a collector of art, fashion and design ideas can be seen from the varied collections he curates from his store. Whether it's the restaurants he designs or the weddings he styles or his own home for that matter, Puneet Jasuja's love for colour is apparent and you can add to it his motto of creating a timeless ambience. My home is a reflection of how I use my space. Um, because I am a creative person, I have a tendency to like to have a lot of colour in my home. And the use of different types of materials and different types of objects from different time periods as also from around the world and to show how these beautiful colorful objects can all work together and not in a probably most logical way that most people would think uh, but in a creative and more fun loving way. So what you see here as a spacious 2 BHK started out as a 3 BHK but space and openness over an extra room was Puneet's undisputed choice. One space leading out into another is the feeling you get as you enter the dining room which leads into the living room with no walls separating the two. The dining room tends for me to be the heart of my home. It's where we do a lot of entertaining if it's a sit down dinner or if it's just displaying a food display with cocktails. We were able to design this beautiful dining table out of wrought iron, which is really rugged and solid. It kind of is the foundation of the room. The four chairs that you see here were all found in an old office. They were all refurbished and then reupholstered. I have two chairs in the back that are actually usable, but you mostly use for haircuts. I actually purchased these chairs in barber shop. Two large paintings in the back. These two paintings are also very colorful, but also toned down in overall kind of composition of the painting, kind of lending itself and kind of standing out a little bit more compared to the bright white and blue stripes that we painted out throughout the dining room space. The curios and the collections don't end there. At the back of the dining table, you will find an old Gujarati storage cabinet used as a bar in this case, which is contrasted with neck pieces from Thailand that have been used as home accents. Next in the house, you move to the living room. So this is where I spend most of my time, my living room. I have a tendency to make sure that I always have flowers. So I often use fruit in my decoration. It often adds a fresh pop of color, as well as some aliveness to the space. Adding to the color play here are the cushions with hand-painted birds from Puneet's collection and a painting by artist Supriya Pali from West Bengal. Colorful cushions and tapestry take the storyline of this home into the bedroom too. I love textiles on the wall. It gives a lot of warmth to a space. It also gives a very cozy feel. The textiles that you see behind me is from Uzbekistan and the textile below here is from Turkmenistan. The two sideboards are actually old mandars and on the left hand side I've collected a number of different figures from around the world from China and Japan and India and kind of put all of those heads together and on this side I have another mandar um, that's yellow. I like to have accessibility and I like to have storage in my room so that I can kind of get to things easily. Puneet's kitchen too is not just the regular one. Given the time one spends in the kitchen, he wanted it to be a perfect mix of beauty, functionality and practicality. So the first thing that I wanted to make sure was to make a very streamlined kitchen design with very basic, simple, modern cabinets with lots of storage that I could keep my counter spaces free. The second thing was is that we designed a countertop that's all one piece made out of stainless steel. There's also a lip on the edge of the counter to prevent spilling and to prevent crumbs from falling on the floor. So it makes cleaning very easy. Um, the next thing I wanted to do was to warm up the space and not use your typical type of tile. 
we put wallpaper in the kitchen. But as you can see, what we did was, was we mounted a piece of glass above the stove so that there was no issues with things getting dirty. The last thing that I did was to add a chandelier because you want the lighting to be soft and yellow, but at the same time, you want to be able to see what you're doing uh, so that you don't cut yourself and that so you can cook well. From a designer who has used color fearlessly in his home, here's the secret of playing with colors. If you're ever worried about how good color combinations can work together, look at nature, look at animals, look at flowers. If you see flowers in a certain color combination, be it brown with yellow, or maybe a green with a blue, you know that those colors work together. The second tip is, don't be afraid. Color's not gonna hurt anybody, it's not gonna change your life, it's just gonna make things a lot more fun. Color is believed to have an effect both on your physical and your emotional being. For instance, some people believe yellow brings about positivity and red induces appetite. Let's hear more about the healing powers of color from the experts themselves. We've got you a color therapist, a magazine editor, an architect and a designer to walk you through the effects and the do's and don'ts of colors. So let's begin with orange and yellows orange and yellow are considered to be very stimulating colors because they um, denote life and are as positive as the sun if i start thinking about mustard as a color which is a very very beautiful color that works outside and inside whether it is on you know entry walls whether it is on accent walls so it's not a hard color to use i personally would not use it in a bedroom i would use it more in the kitchen because it's more like a warm space to work with. Yellow primary colors, very strong. So you don't want to use too much of it. It should be very accent oriented. You can um, even take it like as detailing as take it in the piping of you know the upholstering that you're doing. Shades of orange can be muted down and used uh, as a wholesome feel like you can use them in, in you know walls there, there's burnt orange that looks beautiful on walls next up are the cool colors blue and green green being at the center of the web cure has its own magical effect in the sense that it brings about a lot of healing to the individual what I'm seeing also as a trend now is how to bring the outdoors indoors I'm trying to extend an outside space into my space that's generally when I would use a green so whether you use it as a flat tone or whether you use it as a print whether you use it as a shaded version I think green is nice in the living area blue is the most calming color in the palette it is it's serene midnight blue is very much in fashion it was also very much in vogue then royal blue is also a fantastic color to use it works fantastically for study rooms, men's dens, and you know, accent walls in living rooms. It's just, it's just how you build around that color. The blues and the greens could be used in, uh, to children's bedroom because they do calm down the children and bring about the focus that is needed for the growth of the children. And then there are those of us who love red with a passion. I love red, so I know, I believe it makes people angry. I think it's a sexy color. You have to be careful when using something like red because it's really, really strong. If you do a study area, it would work nice in a red, you know, because it is, uh, it somehow is fiery but cocooning in a manner. When you mute it with, you know, other, uh, like the, the, the blacks and the grays, what tends to happen is red gets a depth and becomes a very uh, attractive and the energy that reds bring out into a space is tremendous. At the end of the day, whether you use primary or muted shades of a color, you must know that nothing is too much. You just have to have the eye of how to do the balance between the right proportions of using color. I think that a person who wants to use strong primary colors should keep the background muted. So in whites or in grays, the others should just kind of branch out. Unlike the color of your outfit, you can't change the color of your home at whim. If you want to play it safe, then keep the color of your walls clean and instead play with brightly colored furnishing, products and accessories. And here's a list to back our suggestion. Some of us are drawn to multicolored products and some of us to single block colors. For the latter group, here are the perfect lounging chairs from our house. They come in the bright shades of blood red and fluorescent green and have a footstool for those times when you simply must put your feet up and relax. 
Bright lacquered furniture is our next pick for you. A side table and a stool or vice versa. Lacquer paints with their sheen given coloured furniture, a boldness with the bonus of making the product easy to wipe clean. Who wouldn't want some blue in their home when it comes in the form of this table called Extrude? From the brand AKFD, the name comes from the process of extrusion where metal is run through a mould that gives it this fixed cross-sectional structure. And if you thought this table was not the most practical with its gaps, we've tested it. It won't let your glass of water fall through. From the floor to the ceilings go Mughal with the glass and crystal lamps from Tahir Ali's. Depending on your style, they could give your room a vintage or a quirky look while colouring the space with a soft glow. Let's transition into a life and technicolour with these cushions from Ishwatam. Choose your favourite colour or combine all of them for an added effect. And to complement those is this carpet from Kaleen made using unused Banarsi saris. Take two dyeing crafts, Banarsi sari and carpet making and the result is so colourful you'll want it in your space. When this mother goes mad, she creates a funky ceiling lamp. We love designer Ritika Nanda's creation for her brand Mother Gone Mad, where she uses a floral and paisley printed fabric and teams it with plastic wicker, resulting in this quirky, cool overhead lamp. We also asked three designers to pick up their favorite creations for us, and here's what we have. If I had to choose one very colorful piece that is in our collection, I'd choose our Ambrosia chair. It's made from various bits of brocade and, and borders and different fabrics. The design is, is very mid-century inspired. It's also a very exotic looking thing and just brings alive a corner of any room. Our product pick is uh, one of our uh, newest addition to the collection. We call it the hand rickshaw chair. The form of the chair is inspired by the hand pull uh, rickshaws from our past and we have recontextualized it into a hanging chair. It can be customized again to any color of your choice. Color for me is a celebration of life. I use a lot of uh, bold colors in my design because uh, it makes the product stand out. My pick of the season uh, would be uh, Excellence tool from my collection. It's actually inspired from uh, our age-old uh, mudas. The meshes come in uh, various colors and uh, hottest color of the season is Marsala. So with the range of options you now have, go crazy with color. Brighten up your children's rooms by adding color. After the break, host of ideas on how you can do it. Babies love primary colors. They love red, blue, green, yellow. So the brighter you go, it really helps their sensory development a lot. 